Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ryan with Escotech. This is my first video in a long time, and the truth is that I sort of rage quit YouTube after I got demonetized for falling below the watch time requirements. Then after almost two years, I decided that I like making videos enough to start doing it again. I enjoy building computers, and hopefully the videos I make can help someone out. If you've followed my channel in the past, you know that I like small form factor GPUs, so when I saw the Intel Arc A380, I knew I had to do a video on it. With a low profile version, which is also called half height, and fully powered by the PCIe slot, this card can be dropped in almost any computer for a quick GPU upgrade. And when I purchased it, it was only $99, so the price is right. This video, I'm going to try to answer whether or not this card is worth buying. Stick around, and I'll answer that question and give more of the details. So the first thing that caught my eye about this card was that it was under $100. Call me old fashioned, but I remember a day when a high-end video card was around 300 bucks. I could go on a rant on GPU prices, but the point is that this entire system, with an Optiplex 5060 that I picked up for $126 second hand, and the ARC A380 being $99.99, brought this system total to $225.99. So my quick conclusion is that this card is not a very good graphics card for gaming, um, but it does have a very good encoder, so if you need it for other purposes, maybe a Plex server or something like that. It, it does transcode video very well. But let's see uh, what it looks like inside the case. Um, coming back in to explain the end of my video here, the only benchmark I have uh, is Unigen Superposition, which scored 5,655 on 1080p medium. Uh, not great. Uh, this is unfortunately the only benchmark I have because I sort of lost my files during my YouTube hiatus. I will point out the temperature here real quick, though. The uh, GPU did have a max of 83, which is a little on the warm side, but it did kind of hover in the low 80s for basically all of my testing. I will mention, and somebody might bring this up in the comments, but the uh, GPU does do better with resizable bar enabled, but since our Optiplex doesn't have that option, it's not relevant to this computer. The only comparison that I can make right now is the 
low profile RTX 3050 is about 45% faster in Unigen Superposition and that will segue into my next video so if you're interested in seeing this uh, please subscribe to my channel and we'll see how the RK380 did against the RTX 3050 both low profile versions. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you at the next video.